Okay, Ruthless Fan Season 2, Episode 15, entitled Cage Birds. Mm, 7 out of 10. Alright, so I know this is late, but I'm just going to jump right into it. You know the drill. Hit the thumbs up button to show you liked the video. Hit subscribe as we move closer to 200,000 subscribers here on the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And in order to keep up with the content, make sure you hit the bell icon and select all. Let's jump into it. So, Daikon confronts Roof about Tally's whereabouts due to the fact that, look, and this happens at least a couple of times in the uh, episode itself, the fact that Tally and the other deserters have left the compound and it's a question of where do they go? Are they going to tell the government anything? Roof, you and Tally were thick as thieves. How come you don't know anything? But she reminds him that, well, I don't live in the same trailer as her anymore, so I'm not currently up to date on what her last plans of action were so i don't know where tally could be and then daikon makes it known like look if i find out that you know something that you aren't telling me you're going to the punishment trailer and this is the same you know one two step these two do every time they talk to each other daikon is pretty much you know focused on what his ambition and mission is of the conversation roof you need to give me information on this and that but she tries to seduce him in order to distract him but you know he just pretty much moves on so then next thing you know roof bumps into joan um and yet again it's the same thing look i don't trust you you don't trust me where's tally i don't know she's gone uh -huh. well if they catch tally they might get her to squeal because you might have told her our plan I didn't tell Tally anything. What I have going on with you and River or what I have going on with you and River, she doesn't know. So pretty much, again, this is called Cage Birds, but I feel like this is a tattletale heart. You know, like, is somebody going to snitch? And Roof can't be trusted. I mean, she is ruthless after all. Um, so after that, it's a question of where's River because he's key in order to get the hell up out of here. But they both talk about how the last time they saw him was when he was sent to the highest trailer in order to calm him down. Uh, what was it, in episode 13 or 14 due to everything going on, making him stressed out and preventing him from sounding the alarm and they all die. So we go over to the punishment trailer and Paula and Lacey realize Oliver is in the next one over. So they move uh, Mother Agnes's body away from the window so they can actually go up to the window to talk with Oliver. And well, you know, Lacey is pretty much unwinding every episode. Every time we see Lacey, she's losing it a little bit more and more. Basically, she's trying to get Oliver to help save them. But the, the thing is, Oliver is trapped just like you are. How exactly is he supposed to escape and then save you two, you know, to get out of there. What, what exactly is the plan here? So she does apologize for taking the keys from the, from, you know, Oliver in order to take Lilo's car and leave. But, um, you know, what good is it now? You're all trapped. So River is actually naked, tied up next to the highest. And the highest is on rubbing his head because he can't believe that he took care of all these people and that they want to leave him, that they would want to leave paradise. And the fact that, He's going to make them pay despite being, you know, their provider. They decided to abandon him. And he thankfully sets River free and he gets dressed and whatnot. And he asked if he hurt him. And River says, no, I'm not hurt, which pisses off the highest even more because of the fact that lying to him makes him mad. But with this guy, you just never know. It's like he's so unpredictable. One minute you know, you're on extremely good terms with him. The next minute you're at the, you're kind of like a bootlicker, so to speak. So from there, he is let go to get the elder mother to go see the highest. And obviously he's shaken by everything going on. Uh, he actually briefly talks with, uh, I believe it's uh, Manny on the porch of the highest trailer, you know, because he's keeping guard. And he asks where the elder mother was. And he says, oh, I saw her earlier going over to the punishment trailer. Speaking of which, the elder mother has Melinda in there and tells her to sit down and strap into a chair. And, you know, Melinda's like, why am I being punished? What's going on? And then she's like, well, what are you being punished for? I don't know. And in order to appease the highest, because I would be just like Melinda's like, look, he said I did good work, yet I'm being punished. What's going on? And mostly when it comes down to this, we can tell that because elder mother 
was receiving the highest this raft. She's kind of taking this out on her. I'm pretty sure that she could have went easy on her or did nothing at all. And she just won. I mean, it's just crazy to me because of the fact that so many people like Ruth and Zane were trying to comfort her when she was being, you know, um, physically, well, you know, slapped by the highest and told off by the highest. But here she is gleefully punishing Melinda by having her sit in an electric chair. And while this is happening, Paula and Lacey actually hear Melinda screaming a couple trailers over. And it's funny because they have a moment where they joke about the car situation and how neither one of them know how to drive a stick. So what was the what, what was exactly the point of trying to sneak out? All right. So after that, River tells um, Elder Mother to see the highest because, you know, he comes in in the midst of Melinda being punished. And then Ruth actually goes to the bus to get the keys from Yancey's body. And remember, Tally actually told Ruth what she did, so she knew Yancey was on the bus. Then River strolls up and wonders what you're doing with the Master Keys, and she pretty much makes it known, I'm about to get the hell up out of here. But River says, no, 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 we need those keys so we can use this for the next stage of the operation. Uh, basically, she's trying to get the key in order to get her daughter and leave, but River's like, look, caged birds won't make it on the outside once they're released into the real world because they've been caged up most of their lives. But Ruth makes it clear, like, look, I ain't no caged bird. I know how to survive out here on these streets, so get out of my way. But River is obviously shaking over what happened when he was in the highest trailer, and Ruth can tell something's a bit off about him it's like you know he's a sleepless zombie the fact that he's not his usual self because based off what happened to him yeah i could definitely see why he is a exactly not there so to speak mentally now we go over to mar uh, elder mother in the highest and again it's the same thing he's freaking out because he's thinking tally will go to the cops and i'm thinking why are you only mentioning tally when there are other people who left too but um, Elder Mother just reassures him that no matter what um, punishment is going to be dealt and we're here to stand by you even if the world turns against the Rakadushi. So River has a conversation with Joan and it's funny how Joan pimped him out a couple episodes ago to go see the highest but now after seeing how torn up he is about it and I believe he even has like so he has like you know um, he, he's kind of swelling up from being bound up by them ropes. So uh, she hands him some kind of like oil in order to help out with that. But it kind of skips over being concerned about River and more to the point, okay, we need to get these keys so we can go ahead and uh, get things set up because the accounts are ready to go. We just need Lilo to show up again one more time to, you know, access the computers and then we can go ahead move this money to move on to the next stage of getting up out of here because it's about to hit the fan and it's about to hit the fan soon. So, um, Zane and Ruth kind of have a little chit chat and it turns out that William is dead or should I say Zane was unaware of that and it's like, hey, he's dead and we ain't got no time for crying. We got to figure things out. So, it's pretty much a swap of information, you know, about William being dead, Daikon keeping it under wraps that Paula and Lacey and Oliver are in the punishment trailer. I was hiding behind a tree and I saw what was going on. And the question is, if they get punished slash tortured, will they snitch? Will they reveal what's going on? And on top of that, you know, uh, the fact that the elder mother stops in to talk with Ruth real quick. And again, just like Daikon and just like Joan, hey, Tally left. Do you know where she went? I don't know. But after that, um, we go over to the highest. And because he said earlier to the elder mother that he wanted to see Ruth, Ruth and elder mother go to see the highest. And Ruth is pretty much, you know, she's on her top form. Like anything the highest throws at her, she has an answer for it. Where's Tally? I don't know. We aren't living in the same trailer before she left. So if she had any specific plans, I'm unaware of it. What about, you know, can I trust you? Look. Even if the government comes down here, I won't just die for the Rakadushi. I'm more sure than ever before. Are you with child? Yes. Yes, we will name him Seven. And then after that, Ruth is sent away. And the highest tells Elder Mother, I don't believe her. Well, she's being watched closely. But didn't you have somebody watching Tally for a time? And pretty much chastises her and makes her go out the back door. So Elder Mother 
can't catch a break. I mean, but at least she wasn't pimp slapped because I do believe right around the time that the highest told her to leave, she kind of flinched when he raised his arm to point at the back door, thinking he was going to hit her again. So Lacey tells Zane about the elder mother being killed because Lacey and Paul are sitting in the chamber. Zane popped up to see if elder mother uh, Agnes needed anything, but she was unaware that she was dead. And Lacey makes it known that if Ruth doesn't do anything to get her out of her soon, she's going to start snitching. And it's like, all snap. So River, uh, again, is scared about Ruth leaving with the keys and forgetting about him and Joan. But Ruth makes it clear that, look, I'm here for this money. I know I said I got money on the outside, but not the kind of money you were telling me about if I'm a part of your operation. He makes it clear, like, look, Lilo just needs to show up again. And once he does, we can move this money and then we can be up out of here. But she makes it clear, like, look, I got to get the kids too, which adds in that next level of danger because of the fact that you got to go to, I mean, if Lilo showed up, imagine if he was alive, if he showed up, they can move the money and then they can make their escape whenever. But the fact that she needs to go to the kids trailer, get her daughter, it's just so much involved with that. There's so much baggage with Ruth right now, but she is essential to their plan, not blowing up in their faces. So. Elder Mother confronts them mid-conversation and asks, why do you two always talk with each other all the time? Because remember, she's suspicious of Ruth and River. Not only that, she's like mad that Ruth was kind of flirting with the highest. And it's like, Elder Mother, he ain't really checking for you like that. You know, obviously he has a thing for Ruth. So then the final scene is River walking around sniffing the car because that smell that's coming out of Lilo's trunk. And when he opens it, he sees his body in the back and... Holy crap, what an ending. So yeah, things have finally moved forward with Lilo and River, obviously, given everything he had to deal with with the highest, seeing a chopped up body is probably not the best thing to see right off the bat. So yeah, crazy ass episode, but that's what I have to say about episode 15. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you agree with my score of a 7 out of 10? Like and subscribe, and if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.